Last week, when the political campaign died down and the red and blue waves subsided, the Prime Minister had announced that the recently elected area representative for Dangriga, Frank Papamena, would be given a portfolio in the cabinet. The media was then notified on the following day that Mena had been given the title of Minister of State and the Ministry of National Security. He was subsequently sworn in as a member of cabinet by the Governor General, His Excellency Sir Colville Young, on Friday, July 10. Up to that time, it was unclear as to what exactly Mena's role and responsibilities would be. And so today, we asked the Chief Executive Officer for the Ministry of National Security to explain to us the functions of MENA as the Minister of State. The Minister of State, his portfolio is similar to the portfolio that is given to the Senior Minister, the Honorable John Saldiva, which is responsibility for police, the Coast Guard, Central Prison, National Forensic Science Service, and for the National Security Secretariat. He would deputize, for example, in the absence of the minister and those functions that the minister is otherwise unable to attend. It is expected that he would attend on the minister's behalf. He would also sort of give the minister ease in terms of dealing with the various departments under his portfolio. I can see the minister now having a little bit more time to focus on things that are of strategic importance and to have the junior minister or the minister of state focusing more on those that are more operational. That does not say that the senior minister will not also deal with operational issues, but um, this would give him some little leeway for him to be able to, to deal with policy strategic level important matter a little bit more than he currently has been uh, looking at those. While MENA is yet to be officially sworn into the House of Representatives, he has already begun playing his role as the Minister of State since his appointment, as he has been in several meetings and will be taken on a familiarization tour of the various facilities in the upcoming weeks. He was sworn in on Friday, and I had the privilege of having a brief discussion with him. One of the things that he made clear to me is that he's new in the whole business of national security and he is willing and prepared to learn. So he came with a sort of approach where he will be listening, he will be asking questions and he is prepared to hear from those who have been there for him how things are done and to try and learn from it. I have planned for him an orientation tour of all the departments that are under his portfolio and that will take place over a three-week period. He will be visiting the forensic and the central prison. He will be going to the EDF and the Coast Guard. He will do the police and the national forensic center. Mena's rise to government minister came about after the sitting Dangriga area representative. Ivan Ramos resigned from the House of Representatives on June 9, 2015, thus triggering a by-election in which Mena garnered 637 more votes than his opponent, PUP's Anthony Sabal.